All right. Sine x is equal to 1 over 2 on the interval negative 2 pi to 2 pi. This time, we will be equating sine x with 1 over 2. So let's imagine a straight horizontal line that will cut through this entire graph like so and this is where we'll call this is a horizontal line with the following equation y is equal 1 over 2 which means that every time you intersect with sine x you will create a solution to the system sine x and y is equal to 1 over 2. So we have two functions, y is equal to sine x, the second y is equal to 1 over 2. So everywhere you see green dots, those green dots represent the solution. Let's think for a moment what is the first root, first root where you intersect that horizontal line with the graph? You may start thinking when sine x is equal to 1 over 2. You can quickly recall the unit circle, if you still don't remember which is okay to forget to sometimes. So sine x. So this is my angle theta. So I have x, I have y, I have r. Sine x is equal to y over r. And in our case, sine x is equal to 1 over 2. So the ratio of y to r is 1 over 2. And this gives us the angle of 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians. Pi over 6. So let this angle be called x not theta to be consistent. So pi over 6 is the first first root of the equation. I'm going to make a little arrow here. So pi over 6. But I know I have four more roots on that interval. So how do I find the other three? If you remember, if you watched the previous video, I was pointing out that there is a congruency that we need to keep in mind of each portion of the graph. Because the first sort of part of this arc between red and blue represents 0 to 90 degree angle or 0 to pi over 2 radians. So this line segment right here between the value of 0 and pi over 6 also is found here on the graph. So this little green line segment and that green line segment is of the same length. Since you know that the red dot represents the 0 value and when x is equal to pi, so moving the same distance from the red dot to the left, and the same distance is pi over 6, you will find y-coordinate that is equal to 1 over 2. So this root, let me just uh, point out uh, this value here, will be found as pi 
minus pi over 6. Why pi over 6? Because remember, this is the line segment of that length, pi over 6. So when I move from 0, pi over 6 radians, my y-coordinate uh, y is 1 over 2. By symmetry of the graph, when you move from pi to the left, by pi over 6, you get also 1 over 2 for your y-coordinate. So pi minus pi over 6, 5 over 6 pi. So, so far, I have found two roots, pi over 6, 5 over 6 pi. But I know there are two more. So, you can also recall in this situation the period of the function is 2 pi radians. So pi over 6 root will be repeated when you move by 2 pi radians to the left. And you land right here. So you move pi over 6 minus 2 pi. So let's do it pi over 6 minus 2 pi. Okay. And this is equal to negative 11 over 6 pi. How do I know that? 2 pi, common denominator, so this is 12 over 6 minus 1, 11 over 6. All right, so this is the value of that third root. Similarly, you can evaluate, you can calculate this remaining value by using the same analogy. You move 2 pi to the left from that root because you know that it will take you 2 pi radians to get to the same level of 1 over 2 from this green value, from pi over 6. So you will go 5 over 6 pi minus 2 pi. All right. And you find that 5 or 6 minus 2 pi, so remember, this is 12 over 6, 5 over 6, so the difference is negative 7 over 6 pi. So this is the last root that we were able to find. Okay, so now I can say that this is my root 1. It's my root 2, root 3, maybe this one here, root 4. Okay, to find a general solution, just remember, pi over 6 will be the first root, and then you can repeat this by adding multiples of 2 pi. So quickly, general solution. x is equal to pi over 6 plus 2k pi. And what is k? k represents any integer. The second root will be duplicated when you continue adding 2 pi radians to the right or subtracting 2 pi radians to the left. Same as with the first one. So the next general root will be expressed as 5 over 6 pi plus 2k pi. All right. So this is the end of this video.
and in the next video we'll talk about cosine function. Thank you for now.